Right, I'm ready to uh, finish up this uh, cover jar. I made it two days ago. So first, I will use my number eight uh, trimming tool. Okay, this is my trimming tool number eight. It's a very uh, thin blade here, so I'm going to use that as uh, to to cut the uh, gallery. Right, so roughly I used the uh, number 8 tool to cut a gallery. Now I'm going to use my number 10 trimming tool to cut it off. I'm going to put my thumb to stabilize it. Right, so cut it open. Uh, you can see the uh, joint here. There's a still a little bit of a gap on the joint. So I will put some coil there and to uh, seal it. So after take care of the uh, gallery, I am going to uh, trim the foot ring. Right, so I'm using my number three carbide tool to do the the uh, heavy lifting, trim most of the uh, clay off, make it thinner, and now I'm gonna finish the uh, the full ring, and uh, to be able to get a nice uh, ninety degrees, I uh, I will bring my number two tool so that it has a ni nice ninety degrees here. And I could get the corner a bit better versus using my number three trimmer. And uh, some people buy my you know, tungsten carbide tool. Um, they think the, uh, it's easy to get the chattering mark. If you trim your clay a little bit drier and uh, hold, hold the blade, hold the handle a bit closer to the corner, that you won't have the uh, chatter mark. You see that I, I am kind of put my finger to stabilize it. And even if you got a chatter mark, if you change the angle of the trimming, like if you do this, this kind of like scraping, but if you tip over, that is kind of like shaving the, the clay off. Then you probably won't have the uh, cheddar mark. So the cheddar mark is when the the clay is kicking back your tool. Your, your, your tool vibrate, jump. So that's why you get a cheddar mark. So if you kind of change the angle, you should be able to avoid it. 
And the carbide tool is even better when you're trimming the clay a little bit drier. Okay, so that's the uh, bottom piece and I'm going to use that as a guide to, uh, to fit the lip part. I'm brushing some water on the uh, joint, the corner. Right, so I take my time and it uh, doesn't hurt to uh, take time to reinforce the joint. So the joint looks good. And now I'm ready to trim the gallery to fit. Um, I already trimmed the base and then uh, I'm going to use that to, to check it while I'm trimming it. And to be able to trim it, this this part is is a dome here, so you need to put it on the chuck, or maybe put some clay to raise it up, or you can even put your uh, body, use a body as a chuck, and then you can trim right on top of it. But I I don't do it that way because I want to use the body to check to see if the fitting is nice. So I will just put it on a chuck. So this is the uh, bisque chuck. And uh, you can see a little bit of a shiny because I put it in the water and let it soak for before I trim my piece. So it's a bit wet. And the reason I'm wetting my chuck is that uh, when the chuck is absorbing a lot of water, it's not taking water anymore, then uh, when you place your clay here, your clay is going to stick. Otherwise, if you don't do that, uh, the chuck is kind of porous and it draw the water right away. So you're, you're holding your anchor clay is going to uh, fall right off. So that's the reason I and my uh, wedding my chuck and to prevent the clay from uh, getting too hard on the surface I am putting a small piece of clay here to kind of cushion my lid. Okay. Um, 
because the uh, three piece of clay is it's not uh, level so you have to level it okay. that is very wide so I have to use a uh, bat So this piece, just find a bubble in the center. So that's how I find my level. And then after I find my level, I have to uh, kind of uh, move it so it's in the center. You could never put it in the very center. So you have to find a level first. Right, once I center it, then uh, attach the clay to hold it down. Right, so that's the whole setup. And uh, once in a while, I bring my base piece to check to see if the gallery is fitting. All right, so it's fitting nicely without moving. Okay, so that's the uh, finished piece. Um, the, put a little bit of uh, black slip and then chattering decoration. All right, so that's my demonstration of uh, finish it up. And I hope this helped. Um, see you next time.